tonight on the Colbert. Hello, are we on? Hello? Yes? Shut up, you crazy, full-bred, impossible-to-pronounce dog. You want to know how I got these scars? It was, it was chicken pox, actually. Hello, and welcome to ITE 119 Information Literacy here at Rappahannock Community College. Uh, well, not here. This is my house. This is not the college. But you know what I mean. I am Michael Green, Assistant Professor of IT, and I will be your mentor, guide, overall thorn in your side this semester as we explore the rapidly and wildly evolving world of information technology. If you're watching this in Blackboard, uh, right below me is a list that outlines the course navigation menu. If you're not in Black, if you're on YouTube or something, what are you doing? Get get back to Blackboard. Um, but take a look at all of the menu items that are over here on the left and just kind of explore the Blackboard course. This is where we'll be living um, about 50% of the time here this semester. Be sure to read all of the announcements below. So I'm in one in this video. Second, uh, be sure to read all of the announcements below. I've already got a couple uh, laid out and posted for you. And be sure to check all of the Blackboard announcements and all of your courses at least twice a week, three times a week if you are an online student. That helps to ensure that you don't miss any important information throughout the semester. And then third, um, be sure to read the syllabus, okay? Read the syllabus, all of it, entirely, this week, okay? I know that sounds awful. It's like two pages. But what that does is it lets you know how each of your courses are going to operate. Every instructor is a little different. Every course is a little different. And a syllabus does a great job of letting you know what to expect what you can expect of me as an instructor, and what I expect of you as a student. Okay, so for example, uh, I do a lot of projects and I have a lot of discussions. It's a great way to engage my on-campus and my online students. Uh, if you don't like project-based classes or discussion-based classes, then you might have a harder time in this class as opposed to uh, another instructor. If you figure that out now, you've still got time to add drop, trade me in for a better model, whatever. And uh, it's a lot better than figuring that out two months from now uh, where your options are a lot more limited. And finally, uh, be sure to check out this week's assignments. So come over here to the left, assignments, week one, and um, be sure to complete them on time. Right? I, uh, there's a college policy that states I have to drop you for inactivity if you don't do anything this week. Um, it, that relates to financial aid and a bunch of other laws, but uh, be sure to do your assignments on time this week so I won't drop you. We can get off to a good start this semester. And uh, ta-ta for now.